So as you probably know, the Raspberry Pi Foundation announced the Raspberry Pi Pico 2 and with it, its new microcontroller chip, the RP2350. And uh, I've got a video about that chip here on this channel and I hope you've had a chance to see that. Now, if you follow me on social media, you'll know that my first board has arrived. That's actually a Challenger Plus 2350 from uh, iLabs. And I've been putting it to the test so I can see the difference between the RP2040, that's what came in the original Raspberry Pi Pico, to the RP2350. Now this video is about just the microcontroller chip, the difference between the performance and the power efficiency. There's the RISC-V cores, there's the ARM Cortex M33 cores and so on. It's not a review of the board itself, that's coming in a later video when I have a greater chance to play with it. In this video, I'm just looking at the microcontroller chip. Now I've tested the performance of the uh, new uh, chip compared to the old one. I tested the performance of the RISC-V chips compared to the ARM ones, including power efficiency. So if you wanna find out more, please let me explain. Let's do a very quick summary of the differences between the RP2040 and the RP2350. So the RP2040 was the first chip from a microcontroller chip from Raspberry Pi uh, people and it was in the Pico 1, runs 133 megahertz, comes to 264k of memory and has two Cortex M0 cores, M0 plus cores in it. Now the 2350 is a higher clock speed, 150 megahertz, almost double the RAM, 520k of RAM and it's got two Cortex M33 cores but it also has two uh, Hazard 3 RISC-V cores. Now you can use the uh, RISC-V cores, all the M33 cores. Uh, you can't use four cores at once, you can only use two cores. Now to do the testing, I basically took the uh, Pico C, C++ SDK, wrote some programs. And I've got various different algorithms that I've used. One is the traditional N Queens uh, chess problem. See how fast that can be solved. I've got my uh, Ocean 2 encryption algorithm, which you'll find on my GitHub web page. Basically, I'm encrypting blocks of data, see how long that takes. And I also wrote a special program, which I will upload to my GitHub repository, which I'm calling the Memory Basher. It basically just loads the RAM with numbers, then XORs all the locations uh, in the RAM and does that with 8-bit access and with 32-bit access to see what kind of performance you get when you're not doing CPU intensive things, but you're doing RAM intensive things. Okay, so these are the results that I found. So starting with N Queens, we can see here that the RP2040 uh, finished that particular test in 40.8 seconds. And we see that the RP2050 using the ARM Cortex M33 cores finished that in 19.6 seconds. And when you use the RISC-V cores, you get that in at 22.8 seconds. So clearly, the Cortex M33 cores are 50% faster than the M Cortex Zero Plus cores, even though you haven't got a 50% increase in the clock speed. So that's a good result from the Cortex M33 cores there. And also in this test, we see that the uh, ARM cores are 14% difference in performance to the RISC-V, with the RISC-V cores being slightly slower. But hold your horses, because there are more tests coming along and this isn't always going to be the case. Now switching over to power, we can see the RP2040 when running the N Queens test takes about 140 uh, milliwatts while it's running the test. Whereas the uh, RP2350, whether it's using the ARM cores or the RISC-V cores, takes only 90 uh, milliwatts. So you can see that just from a pure power point of view, it uses 35 percent less power and of course it's actually running the same workload much faster so your overall total power use is actually going to be less as well because the task completes in a quicker time. On to Ocean 2 that's my encryption algorithm uh, 58.9 seconds on the original RP2040 28.3 and 28 seconds respectively for the uh, ARM cores and the RISC-V cores. So again, you see a huge improvement in performance. And this time, the RISC-V cores are slightly, ever so slightly faster than the uh, ARM Cortex-M33 cores. Same story with the power consumption, around 140 milliwatts 
and 90 milliwatts. And that's actually what we're going to see all the way through uh, these testing. Now on to my memory basher using 8-bit memory access. 72.3 seconds uh, for the original Raspberry Pi Pico. 41.1 seconds for the ARM Cortex M33 cores. And then 35.6 seconds for the uh, RISC-V core. So in this particular case, the RISC-V core comes out on, on top. It's actually 50% faster than the Cortex-M0. And again, 14% coincidentally, I believe, but 14% difference in performance there. Now the balance swinging the other way. Same again with the power consumption around 140 milliwatts and 90 milliwatts. Now, when we come to 32-bit access, we see a different story, 17.2 seconds uh, for the original Raspberry Pi Pico, 10.9 seconds for both cores, whether it's ARM or RISC V, they're giving you exactly the same results. So there does seem to be a difference there between 8-bit access and 32-bit access. If you're interested in the code, it's in my GitHub repository. Okay, so what have we learned from all that? Well, the first thing we've learned is the RP2350 is between 35 and 50% faster in terms of raw performance than the uh, RP2040. So those Cortex-M33 cores are faster than the Cortex-M0 Plus cores, which you would expect. And those Hazard 3 RISC-V cores are also faster than the original cores in the RP2040. We also see that it uses 35% less power while running. And then on top of that, you've got the advantage that the jobs finish quicker. So depending on whether you're doing, you know, high intensive work or not, whether you're going into sleep mode, and we'll talk more about sleep modes uh, in a minute, that will depend on your power usage. But if it's just running constantly, doing things, checking things, whatever, then you're, it, it's more efficient on the new chip, which of course is what you'd expect. And the final thing we can say is that the uh, ARM Cortex-33 cores and the Hazard 3 RISC-V cores basically offer similar, if not almost identical performance, swings and balances depending on what the actual workload is, and they both use the same amount of power. So there really doesn't seem to be much of an advantage or disadvantage from a performance or an efficiency point of view over which cores you choose. There are of course other reasons that will affect uh, the decision on which core you use. But one interesting thing is, is that the basically the uh, SDK just compiles the code for either and it kind of just works. Now I did find some differences in the SDK. For example, some of the clock routines I were using to measure the timings were actually reporting uh, in nanoseconds rather than milliseconds on one compared to the other. So I think there are some still some slight differences, but there was nothing to do with the compiler. Basically I compiled it each time, nothing had to be changed, it just works. So it is an easy inroad to picking whichever core you wanna do and you could probably switch to the other one, whichever way you've opted for, without much hassle. Now I mentioned sleep modes. The one thing I haven't done the testing yet is to see how much uh, power can be reduced. So that is a test that is important. If you wanna run a microcontroller off a battery, you only wanna wake up every hour, check some sensors, do something, and then shut down again as a typical example. Now that I will be doing that and reporting on that either as a separate video if I think it uh, is worth it or just on social media, I could post my results there. So do look out for those when I get around to doing it. Also, as I said, there will be a full review of this Challenger Plus board and I do have some other boards coming in the post that should arrive soon, but I can also repeat these tests and also offer full reviews. Okay, that's it. My name's Gary Sims. This is Gary Explains. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. If you like these kind of videos, here's an invitation. Stick around by subscribing to the channel. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.